Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Aaliyah Mahdi, and this is Africa is for Africans. On this episode, we are here at a Dream Sports Bar and Lounge, an African-American owned restaurant right here in Dakar, Senegal. I was the first person in my family to actually come on, come to Africa and visit Africa and live in Africa. Uh, that experience has been a very unique one um, because it kind of puts you in a position where you want to educate uh, your family members back home and let them know, you know, the beauty of Africa and how much they need to come and visit and invest here for themselves. The day before yesterday, about waste beads, they were asking me about waste beads, yes. which is a traditional Senegalese jewelry that the women wear here. So I went ahead and got you guys waste beads. You are so nice. great experience thus far, um, an empowering experience just to be able to inspire people to, to take a different path. One of the things that I appreciated most about living here in Senegal was being able to raise my children here. Um, there are a lot of benefits. Uh, attached to raising your children in Africa. Uh, one of the major benefits is just having a community around you that you can trust uh, that is available to help you with your children. It really is the, um, you know, we always say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, here is that village. Uh, so overall, it's been a very positive experience for the kids um, and one that I greatly appreciate. Some of the things that I have seen improve since living here um, is the infrastructure and the ease of travel. So when we first came, uh, it was kind of difficult to travel because the roads were, you know, not so great and really dusty and, you know, it just wasn't really an exciting thing to, to move about uh, and travel the country. Uh, but since then, you know, they've actually built a lot of different highways. Um, recently, I even know they opened up a bridge to the Gambia, which is pretty cool. It makes it easier to travel back and forth there. Um, so that's definitely something that has improved since I've been here. Also accessibility to certain products and things that we're used to having back home in the States. Uh, so a lot of different like American shops and boutiques have popped up all over the place uh, where we can get things that we're used to. We'll be hosting the Africa Day 2020 celebration and convention from May 25th through 31st, 2020 here in Dakar, Senegal, West Africa. African Day 2020, come home! <laughs> It's the Africa Day in May 2020. Come. 
Join us for Africa Day 2020. Dakar, Senegal from May 25th to 31st. Africa Day in Dakar, May 25th to the 31st. You don't want to miss this. forums, conferences, and building bridges between Africa and the diaspora. excited about Africa Day coming up um, and we're even more excited to be partnering with Dream for Africa Day uh, and this is huge just because it gives all of our guests an opportunity to come network eat somewhere where they're comfortable uh, where they can find foods that they enjoy uh, so we're definitely looking forward to that for Africa Day we've been here five years my wife and I and uh, every time we give these kind of tours uh, it reminds us of the importance of being a bridge for our brothers and sisters. Wait, so do you guys have ties to Senegal? <laughs> <laughs> they just like to stay. They just like to stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we are definitely looking forward um, to partnering and working with all of you there, especially those of you who are excited about coming and joining us uh, for Africa Day. Uh, so if you're interested and you want to collaborate, you know, go ahead and go to our website, www.mainafricaproject.com to get involved. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you, connecting with you, and building with you. So come home. Our cable line is what all of us have been looking for. Um, recently, I was reading someone's post online that said there is no one place for black people to go that's like our safe haven, per se. And our cable line is that. But um, when you're talking about something for yourself, like we have to build it on our own. It's not something that we can expect to be given to us. Uh, it's something that we have to put our own time, focus, money, and energy into. Uh, and our cable line is that. And it's an opportunity to, you know, build a city, to create jobs for ourselves, to create educational opportunities for ourselves. All of these different things that will help us flourish as a people in our own comfortable space. This is the real homes of Africa. 